Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang solving trigonometric equations. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang solving trigonometric equations. So, sabi to solve for trigonometric equations which involve trigo functions means finding the unknown variable that will make the equation true. Okay, so just like in algebraic equation kung saan meron tayong unknown variable, let's say x, dito sa trigonometric equations, meron din tayong equation kung saan this time nag involve naman ng trigo function with unknown variable, let's say x then And then, para masolve yung trigonometric equations na yun is, hanapin natin yung value ng unknown variable dun sa equation na magpapasatisfy doon sa given equation. Okay? So, yun sa solving trigonometric equations, apply natin yung lahat ng natutunan natin sa trigo as well as sa algebra, particularly yung mga identities sa trigonometric functions as well as yung manipulations ng equations sa algebra, pati yung quadratic equations. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung pagsasolve ng trigonometric equations, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. For the first example, we have, find the general solution of square root of 3 cos second x minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so usually kapag meron tayong trigonometric equation, ina-isolate natin yung constant sa isang side ng equation, let's say sa right side. And then yung trigonometric functions na involved with an unknown variable, let's say x, is dun sa other side, let's say sa left. So gawin natin yon. So ito sa given trig equation natin, transpose ko tong 2 sa right, magiging square root of 3 cos second x is equal to 2. And then, sabi ko nga, dapat i-isolate natin yung trigo function sa left. So, para makancel itong square root of 3, divide natin both sides by square root of 3. So, therefore, cos second x is equal to 2 over square root of 3. Or, para mas madali, i-transform natin itong mga functions na involved sa basic 3 trigo functions like yung sine, cosine, and tangent, right? So, kung i-transform natin itong cos second x into sin x, kasi reciprocal sila, right? Equal siya sa 1 over sin x. Then, equal to 2 square root of 3. Or, pag nireciprocal natin both sides of the equation, magiging sin x is equal to, so nireciprocal natin yung 1 over sin x naging sin x, dapat irereciprocal din natin tong right side na 2 over square root of 3. So, magiging square root of 3 over 2. So, ito na ngayon yung isasolve natin. So, base dito sa equation, sin x is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So, therefore, ibig sabihin, maghahanap tayo ng value ng x or angle kung saan yung sign niya is square root of 3 over 2. Or, using inverse trigo function, we have x is equal to arc sine of square root of 3 over 2. So, ano ngayon yung value ng angle na kapag hinanap natin yung sign niya ang sagot is square root of 3 over 2? Special angle to, right? What is the answer? X is... 60 degree, right? Or in region, pi over 3. So, meron pa ba kayong alam na angle na kapag hinanap natin yung sine is square root of 3 over 2 ang sagot? So, kasi itong 60 degree ay nasa first quadrant. Saan pa ba pwedeng mag-positive itong si sine? Sa second quadrant, right? So, therefore, pwede natin kuhain yung reference angle nung 60 degree kapag Nandun tayo sa second quadrant, which is 180 degree minus 60 degree. Base dun sa video ko about reference angle. So, therefore, equal din siya sa 180 degree minus 60 degree or 120 degree. Right? So, therefore, x can also be 120 degree or in region form we have. So, one, so 120 degree times pi over 180 is 2 pi over 3. Okay, so meron pa ba? Wala na. Sa third quadrant kasi, wala na tayong pwedeng maging sagot kasi negative si sign doon. As well as sa fourth quadrant. So, therefore, ito yung possible answer natin. Assuming na yung x natin is within the interval 0 to 360 degree or 0 to 2 pi. Kaso, sabi kasi sa problem, general solution. Minsan kasi sasabihin sa problem na 
within this interval lang, particularly from 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 360 degree interval. Pero since yung given sa problem is general solution, ang pinakasagot natin dapat dito is hindi lang 60 degree or 120 degree or pi over 3 or 2 pi over 3. Lalagyan natin ito ng additional angle. So, for example, x is equal to 60 degree. So, since diba yung sign natin is periodic sa 360 degree or 2 pi, lalagyan natin siya ng plus k times 360 degree. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng value natin na isasubstitute na k from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, magsasatisfy pa rin itong ating value na x dito sa equation. So, nambawa, kung 60 degree plus k is 1, so 60 degree plus 360 degree, 720 degree. So, yung sign pa rin ng 720 degree is equal dito sa square root of 3 over 2. Kasi nga, periodic yung sign sa 360 degree. And then, same lang din dito sa x is equal to 120 degree plus, so nadagdagan lang natin siya ng k times 360 degree. Okay? Para naman dito sa region form, gagawin lang natin pi over 3 plus k times 2 pi naman. To denote na yung 360 degree is 2 pi. Or, ito ring 2 pi over 3, dagdagan natin ng plus k times 2 pi. So, therefore, ito yung mga general solution natin sa trigo equations. Okay? Next, we have, find the general solution of sin 2x is equal to 1. Okay, so mapapansin nyo, naka-isolate naman na yung trigo function sa left side tapos yung constant sa right side. So, hindi natin kailangan mag-manipulate. And then, mapapansin nyo, yung angle ng sine is 2x. So, kapag ganun, pwede natin ilet theta be equal to 2x para yung angle natin is, numerical coefficient nyo lang is 1 for the sine. So, kapag ginawa natin yun, we have sine theta is equal to 1. So, hanapin uli natin ngayon yung theta kung saan yung sine value niya is 1. So, theta is arc sine of 1. So, obviously, ano siya? So, theta can be, ano yung angle na yung sine niya is 1? 90 degree. Or, if in region, pi over 2. Meron pa ba? Sa interval na 0 to 360 degree? Wala na. So, therefore, equal pala yung theta which is, kung ibabalik natin sa original variable nga na 2x, dapat equal sa 90 degree or pi over 2. By the way, kailangan natin hanapin yung general solution. So, kailangan uli natin mag-add sa 90 degree, tsaka pi over 2 ng plus k times 360 degree or, or plus k times 2 pi. So, therefore, we can have 2x is equal to 90 degree plus k times 360 degree or... 2x is equal to, in region, pi over 2 plus k times 2 pi. So, kailangan lang natin is x. So, pwede pa natin i-divide both sides of the equation by 2. Okay, so dito sa degree, cancel si 2. x is equal to, distribute natin si 2. 90 degree divided by 2 is 45 degree. Plus, distribute din natin dito, k times 360 degree over 2 is k times 180 degree where k is any integers. Same as dito, x is equal to, so cancel si 2, pi over 2 divided by 2, distribute si 2, pi over 4, plus k times 2 pi divided by 2 is cancel si 2, or k times pi, where k is any integer then. Okay, so therefore, these are the general solutions. Okay? Next, we have, Find the general solution of sin x is equal to cosine x. Okay, so this time, meron tayong sin x equal to cosine x. So, sabi ko nga, dapat maging constant yung other side. So, let's say, sa right side, gawin natin constant. And then, sa left side, puro trigo function lang. So, para magawa yun, this time, try natin i-divide both sides by cosine x. Okay? So, therefore, we have sin x over cos sin x is equal to cancel si cos sin, magiging 1 na lang. Ngayon, i-transform natin itong sin x over cos sin x sa kanyang identity na tan x. Okay? So, therefore, we have tan x is equal to 1. So, ngayon, hanapin natin yung x or yung angle na kapag hinanap natin yung tangent niya is equal sa 1. Or x is equal to arctan of 1. So, ano yun? So, sa first quadrant, 
ano yung angle na kapag hinanap natin yung tangent is positive 1? X can be 45 degree right special angle. Or in region form, pi over 4. Meron pa ba? So saan pa ba magpa-positive si tangent? Sa third quadrant, right? So pwede rin pala natin masolve si X as So kapag third quadrant, yung ating reference angle is equal to plus 180 degree kung ano man yung acute angle natin sa first quadrant which is itong 45 degree. So therefore, equal din yung X natin sa 225 degree. Or in region form, so 225 times pi over 180. 5 pi over 4. So meron pa ba? Wala na. So, ang pinapahanap ulit is general solution. So, therefore, mag add tayo ulit dito ng angle. So, x is equal to 45 degree plus, so this time, saan naman periodic yung tangent? Sa 180 degree, right? So, therefore, pwede tayo mag-add ng plus k times 180 degree. Or, in region naman, pi over 4 plus k times pi naman. Where k is any integers. Tapos dito rin sa isang solution, x can be 225 degree plus k times 180 degree or in region, 5 pi over 4 plus k times pi. Where k is any integers ulit. Okay? Next we have, find the general solution of cosine squared x equals cosine x. Okay, so pwede natin gawin is i-transpose natin itong cosine x sa right dito sa left. So magiging cosine squared x minus cosine x equals 0. So kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong second degree sa cosine. So pwede natin yan i-factor, right? Cosine x times cosine x minus 1 equals 0. So just like in quadratic equations, pwede natin i-equate these both factors to 0. So, we have cosine x is equal to 0 and cosine x minus 1 is equal to 0. Or, dito sa isa, we have cosine x is equal to 1. So, meron ngayon tayong dalawang solutions. So, dito sa una, yung cosine x is equal to 0, hanapin natin yung value ng x or angle na yung cosine is 0. Or, x is equal to r cosine 0. So, ano ba siya? Sa interval na 0 to 360 degree, dalawa, right? Pwede siya sa 90 degree and 270 degree or in region form 90 degree is pi over 2 and yung 270 degree in region form is 3 pi over 2 right then dito sa cosine x is equal to 1 ano naman yung value nung x or angle na kapag hinanap mo yung cosine is 1 or x is equal to r cosine 1 obviously 0 degree right so therefore x is equal to 0 degree so, wala na, right? So, pinapahanap is general solution. So, therefore, mag a ulit tayo. Let's say dito sa x is equal to 90 degree, mag a tayo ng k times 360 degree or pi over 2 plus k times 2 pi. Dito rin sa x is equal to 270 degree plus k times 360 degree or in region 3 pi over 2 plus k times 2 pi. And then, last ito sa x is equal to 0, 0 plus k times 360 degree, or 0 plus k times 2 pi. Lahat ng to, k is any integers. Okay? Next, we have, solve cosine squared x plus 1 half sine x minus 1 half is equal to 0, for 0 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay, so this time, sabi sa problem, yung solution daw natin is within this interval lang. So, hindi natin kailangang isolve yung general solution. So, so lahat lang ng values ng x na within this interval. So, sige, solve natin yung given trigo equation. So, cosine squared x plus 1 half sine x minus 1 half is equal to 0. So, para mawala mo na yung denominator na 2, multiply natin both sides of the equation by 2. So, distribute, we have 2 cosine squared x plus, so sa 1 half sine x cancel si 2, magiging sine x na lang. Then, distribute sa negative 1 half, we have, cancel din si 2, negative 1 na lang. Equal 0. So, mapapansin nyo, 
meron tayong 2 cosine squared x plus sine x minus 1 is equal to 0. Which is, magkaiba tayo ng trigo function. Yung isa cosine, yung isa sine. So kapag ganun, as much as possible, gawin natin iisang trigo function lang yung involved. So pwede natin gawin sine na lang. Kasi itong cosine squared x using Pythagorean identity equal siya sa 1 minus sin squared x, right? So, substitute natin. So, 2 times 1 minus sin squared x plus sin x minus 1 is equal to 0. And then, distribute si 2, we have 2 minus 2 sin squared x plus sin x minus 1 is equal to 0. Combine similar terms, we have negative 2 sin squared x plus sin x 2 minus 1 is positive 1 equal 0. So, mapapansin nyo, yung sin natin is quadratic, yung highest exponent is 2. So, pwede natin gawin yung ginawa natin sa example 4, i-factor natin. Pero, para maging standard tayo, gawin natin positive tong numerical coefficient ni sine squared x. Multiply natin both sides by negative 1. So, magiging distribute 2 sine squared x minus sine x minus 1 equal 0. So, paano natin i-factor to? So, we have 2 sine x times sine x and then 1, 1 so, dapat negative, positive. Right? Equal 0. So, just like in solving quadratic equation, equate natin each factor to 0. So, itong 2 sin x plus 1 equal 0. And then, sin x minus 1 equal 0. Then, solve natin itong unang equation for sin x. So, sin x is equal to transpose 1, negative 1. Then, divide both sides by 2. We have sin x is equal to negative 1 half. So, therefore, hanapin natin yung x or angle na kapag hinanap natin yung sine is negative 1 half yung sagot or x is equal to inverse sine of negative 1 half then dito rin sa isa sine x is equal to transpose si 1 we have sine x is equal to 1 so solve natin si x or yung angle na kapag hinanap natin yung sine ang sagot is 1 or x is equal to inverse sine of 1 so take note tayo yung interval lang natin is from 0 to 2 pi so, ano ngayon yung magiging sagot natin dito muna sa x is equal to arc sine of negative 1? Saan ba negative si sine? Sa quadrant 3 and 4. So, therefore, may expect natin na yung sagot natin dito sa arc sine of negative 1 half ay nasa quadrant 3 at quadrant 4. Ano yung angle na yun? So, obviously, di ba kasi yung arc sine ng 1 half is what? Or anong angle na kapag hinanap natin yung sine ng sagot is 1 half? Sine? sin 30 degree, right? So, therefore, kung nasa quadrant 3 tayo, yung 30 degree, aada natin ng 180 degree, right? Or 210 degree. So, gawin natin in region kasi yung sabi sa interval is naka in region eh. So, ano ngayon yung 210 degree in region? 210 times pi over 180. 7 over 6 pi. Okay? Meron pa ba? Yes, sa quadrant 4 nga. So, since yung, yung acute angle natin is 30 degree, para naman mahanap natin yung reference angle in 4th quadrant, anong gagawin natin? 360 degree minus 30 degree. So, we have 330 degree. So, in region, anong 330 degree? 330 times pi over 180. 11 pi over 6. So, therefore, ito yung galawang solutions natin dito sa sine x is equal to negative 1 half. Tapos, yung huli, itong x is equal to arc sine 1, obviously, ano siya? Isa lang yung value niya sa interval na 0 to 2 pi. Ano yon Sa 90 degree, right? Or pi over 2. So, therefore, ito na yung sagot natin. Hindi na kailangan maglagay ng plus k times 2 pi kasi hindi naman general solution yung hinahanap ng problem. Within the interval lang na 0 to 2 pi. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it for this video, solving trigonometric functions. So, practice lang kayong mag-solve ng this type of equations, yung trigonometric equations, para ma-master nyo ito. Okay? So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito at maraming salamat sa panunood.